Okay, um, I'm Nancy Cornell. I've lived on the hilltop all my life. I'm now 73 years old. I have an older brother. We lived in the neighborhood as, a ch as children with a combination of a lot of boys. I was the only girl for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was the tag along, but it was beautiful, very beautiful. We lived on the uh, area near Mound Street and at that time, Mount Street had not been cut through. It was a very peaceful, quiet area. As a matter of fact, we used to play what's called kick the stick, which is at each of the four uh, positions on the, 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 where the sewers are. And we would play the, the stick up against the side of the curb, and then we would play with teams. And it was very nice. And we could do this in the evenings. So it was very peaceful and nice. Can't do anything like that nowadays. We also had uh, the location of Mound Street and Wayne. A um, it was a surface water sewer area, and it was wild in that it was all open. We would go over there. We were forbidden to go, but we would go over there. There were dragonflies. There were frogs. There was poison ivy, but it was the most amazing open area that you could find, and we loved it. We even went over there in the wintertime because there would be ice forming sometimes and, and just go over there and just mess around. It was very pleasant. That's all closed now with the culvert, and uh, there's a, a junior high school there. Uh, the Hilltop Bean Dinner is still active, and... Uh, my father went, he made it to 65 years old. He went to the bean dinner every year as an adult. Mm -hmm. And as little kids, we would go over there. They had good music. They had um, uh, many, many things. But for us kids, the big thing was to be able to go over there and use the playground area. Let's see now. We... Um, we had a writing academy on Eakin Road, and it extended from Eakin to Briggs, and there were beautiful pathways, and my folks didn't have much money, but they allowed us to take writing lessons. I believe we had five lessons apiece, my brother and I, and it was so beautiful. Uh, it was woods with the pathways all through it, and it was absolutely beautiful. That's all now development. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I had a, I, I was, went to John Burroughs High School, or John Burroughs Elementary School, and then in the sixth grade we moved, and I went up to West Broad Street for my sixth year. From then on, we went over to West, which was a junior and senior high. At that point, you met so many people. You met so many young people that they had extended to the 7th grade to the 12th. So therefore, that made you even a move, you know, more close grouping. Um, we uh, learned from an old lady who was about ready to retire on this, in the, my 6th grade at West Broad about the 1913 flood. She lived at the top of the hill and the flood water came so high up from the bottoms and came up that it, they were absolutely terrified. And, of course, hardly a week went by without her telling us something about it, which was a little bit morbid in a way, but it was history. And as a matter of fact, for our graduation from elementary school, she had each one of us pick a topic. And I did about the courthouse, which was uh, down... Uh, closer to, to um, the city works. It was, um, there's now a, a 315 right there. That's that route. Let's see, we went to what was called Bender's, which is now the Hilltop Swimming Pool, uh, located on North Hague Avenue in Valley View. And we were able to ride our bicycles through street after street of shade trees. Mm -hmm. And no matter how hot it was, 
or whatever. You could always stop, rest, and cool off, and it was beautiful. Although most of those trees have been taken out, and the city did try to replace some of them, but uh, unfortunately there's a lot of vandalism, so those are being torn out now. But it was a wonderful experience to go over there and just take a nice bike ride, and you could it was peaceful, and it, in that, as I say, it was the shade was just absolutely beautiful. The trees were gorgeous. Let's see here. Can you stop it? Yeah, yeah, we can stop okay. anytime. Is that it? Oh, Let's I see. see. Oh, we'll just edit out the parts that are where I'm talking. Okay. Oh, I was going to talk to you about the libraries. The one that you show out there in front that was located at Broad Street and Hague Avenue was a small library, but it was just full. It was full. There were librarians, uh, one older lady that had, I think, a little bit of a southern accent, was just so knowledgeable, so full of giving that it was just absolutely wonderful. And she didn't put up with any foolishness either. You went in there and you used that library and that was it. Uh, we have since moved various places. That the one I'm at right now is on um, Hague Avenue at Sullivan. And it's, it's a wonderful library. And we have very, very good workers. We have marvelous people who are willing to give you help 